Great, so it gives us maybes back. Well, how do we deal with that? Well, let's make this code a little bit easier to read and we'll create a function called parse user number. And this is the user number, that, the number that you type in. So we'll say text and it's gonna give us back basically the same thing that this is. So we'll go ahead and cut this out for right now. And this will give us a maybe. And so we'll do a let just so you can see the imperative style the maybe. Cool, so what do we return? Well, we can do cases on just about any types. And we're casing on two things. If we get a just back, we get the value. And that number that we get, cool, just return the number. That means we got one, so return a one. Fantastic, this will give us a number back. But if we get nothing, what do we do? Well, we'll assume the user typed in nothing of value. And in numbers and math, nothing of value is zero. So that way they can't screw it up. Instead of nan or undefined, we guarantee you that every single time it's always a zero. So we never actually negatively affect the model. We don't add anything because zero is nothing. And so nothing equals nothing. So that works out pretty well. So now we can guarantee that number to add is always a number parsed in based on the text that you typed. And again, the cool thing is that if you accidentally left out nothing, it wouldn't compile. Change it to text. Nothing doesn't have a value, we don't care. And that's the joys of compiler. All right, so let's check out our reactor. We'll reload this, relaunch Elm Reactor. And voila, we're getting our number of nothing because he didn't add anything. And we change the value and try to parse it out. It'll change it to zero. But if we change it to two and hit add, it'll say number to add of two. And so now the number to add, if we look at our model is two down here. So it's parsing out Everything we do, we say three, it'll add three, four, five. If we say the word cow, it'll go back to zero, for example, right? So even if you hit C, it'll say zero. But if you can type in a valid number, like 55 or five or two or whatever else, it's, it's dealing with those numbers. And so we say 22 and then hit add, you can see that number to add is 22. So it's correctly parsing our numbers now based on the text we type in. Otherwise, if you put bad data, it's parsing it as zero.